Coronavirus, advice for people with health conditions. Coronavirus can affect anyone, but people with pre-existing health problems and older people are thought to be at greater risk of developing severe symptoms. If you have a long-term health condition you may be feeling anxious, so here's what experts are advising. Who is at risk? Having a health condition does not make you more likely than anyone else to come into contact with coronavirus. But it appears people who are older, those with weakened immune systems and people who have underlying chronic conditions, including heart disease, diabetes, or asthma, are more at risk of severe effects if they do catch it. Most people start to recover from coronavirus quickly after a few days rest. For some people, it can be more severe and sometimes life-threatening. The symptoms are similar to other illnesses that are much more common, such as cold and flu. A cough. A high temperature. Shortness of breath. People at higher risk include those who are over 70, regardless of whether they have a medical condition or not, and people under 70 with any of the following underlying health conditions. Chronic, long-term, respiratory diseases, such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, emphysema or bronchitis, chronic heart disease, such as heart failure, chronic kidney disease, chronic liver disease, such as hepatitis, chronic neurological conditions, such as Parkinson's disease, motor neuron disease, multiple sclerosis, MS, a learning disability or cerebral palsy, diabetes, problems with your spleen, for example, sickle cell disease or if you have had your spleen removed. A weakened immune system is the result of conditions such as HIV and AIDS, or medicines such as steroid tablets or chemotherapy. Being seriously overweight, a BMI of 40 or above. Those who are pregnant. Everyone is being told to follow social distancing measures to help reduce the chance of catching and spreading coronavirus. People in higher risk groups are strongly advised to follow the advice. Around 1.5 million people at the greatest risk of complications, such as patients having treatment for cancer or people on immunosuppressant therapy, are being asked to isolate at home for 12 weeks to protect themselves, a measure called shielding. They will be sent more information about it by the NHS. If you think you are in this highest risk category and have not received a letter from the NHS by Sunday March 29, 2020 or been contacted by your GP, get in touch with your GP or hospital doctor by phone or online. I'm elderly, should I self-isolate? Everyone, regardless of age, should now be stopping non-essential contact with others to help stop the spread of the virus and protect the most vulnerable. That means avoiding gatherings with friends and family as well as crowded places. This is particularly important for people over 70 and those with underlying health conditions because they are at higher risk. Thanks for watching.